One of the most iconic albums in music history is turning 40 years old. Joy Division's Unknown Pleasures was the beginning of a story still being told today by the surviving band members. Bassist and co-founder Peter Hook came to Euronews to tell us about a record that he has been playing live now for 10 years, but that he didn't actually like so much when it first came out. Bernard and I weren't very happy with the production. We thought it was too old for us. Yeah. too good for us, maybe. We wanted it to be very punky, like The Clash, like The Sex Pistols. Mm. Um, you didn't make the album to be iconic, certainly not 40 years later. She's lost control again. She's lost control. At the time, Joy Division only wanted to make new music and waited for the next concert. It was funny, waiting for the reviews, you're not interested in them, but you are interested in them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double-edged sword yeah. with things like that, but we were very happy as a group and very confident as a group. Uh, it was only after this that Ian's illness started to overshadow yeah. um, the group. The Joy Division singer suffered from epilepsy. The unhappiness in his personal life and the pressure of the music industry might have led him to his suicide less than a year after the release. Well, I watched Ian do it and couldn't help him. And then you have that awful survivor's guilt that we have to live with all the time because of what happened. Even though we were very young and there were much older people, much more um, uh, educated people, experts looking after him, they couldn't look after him. Why would three idiots 21-year-old <laughs> idiots think that they could look after them. After Ian's death, Joy Division became New Order and Peter Hook broke away in 2006. It's very difficult to celebrate anything to do with Joy Division with the record company because of the way that the group's relationship is at the moment. It is still um, very bad. In 2009, Peter Hook decided to celebrate 30 years of Ian Curtis and Joy Division's legacy. Ian Curtis's shoes were very big shoes yeah. to fill. The expectation was high and I was scared to death. But I had to do it, otherwise it was back to DJing. She's lost She's lost Ian Curtis, in particular, had a great ambition for the group round the world, not just in Manchester not in England. He had an ambition to take Joy Division's music because he was our biggest fan everywhere. And I do feel that by doing what I've done, I've actually fulfilled that ambition for him. I think he would be very proud of that. To be able to go and play in Mexico, Portugal, God, Brazil, Mongolia, as we did, you know, to all these places to play music that I love, that I help create you know, with others. And it's just such a wonderful, wonderful feeling, you know, I mean, this is a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Lose